Today in the grain market, soybeans were higher. Futures were able to shake off the bearish USDA report. Uh, with the U.S. stocks kind of neutral and the world stocks a little bit bearish, we would have expected the market to um, really start to trend a little bit lower, but it shows that perhaps beans have been a little bit undervalued. Even though the market opened and kind of dropped, it was able to come back and really become much stronger. Uh, it looks like that we got, you know, we're 30 plus cents higher, and that includes uh, the total of a dollar higher for the week. Uh, that's really a pretty big move, and it basically just is like rejecting these lower prices, and perhaps that's a correction that we were looking for. Uh, clearly, the futures were oversold. The option open interest so showed some buying on the upside, um, and that's, you know, something to think about going forward if traders are betting uh, the market still has a lot of room to move higher. Now, uh, CVAL for soybeans is at 22%, which is really pretty low, basically, from where it's been lately. So that's uh, something to think about. Everything's kind of settling in a little bit. The soybean oil is at uh, 33.1, and the meal is at 26.8%. Now, the corn did push up. That U.S. stocks number did remain the same. Sometimes that really would bring in some sellers. We did have a little juxtaposition right when the report came out, but the futures just seem to be unaffected by that report. Uh, we rallied to a new high that only has been surpassed by the highs from March 4th and March 7th. So the high for corn is at 7.82 and three quarters, and that's really just a dime away from where we are today. So that's something to be watching going forward. Now, there has been some activity in the option open interest. On the upside, clearly the $8 is, um, has been building. Even today, we had some July 850 calls uh, being bought, which the highest open interest is in the December with the $8 and the $6 put. So the market is really trying to push to get to that point. The C valve for corn is at 30.7%, which is relatively modest compared to where we've been lately, but just something to watch. Uh, the corn market was really strong today. Uh, wheat now was higher as well. I think that the hot and dry in the Southern Plains is affecting that market. And so uh, we did start to uh, push up an awful lot. The crop seems to be under some uh, stress for the hard uh, red wheat. And, um, you know, dry weather and heavy winds is really uh, affecting that. Uh, but there's plenty of export that is not coming out of that Black Sea region. That's also underpinning the market. Uh, we've got um, the op oh, highest open interest now in the July $11 is starting to build with the highest actually on the December $14, which uh, really has been the, the you know steady uh, option like number, pinnacle of a number for wheat, which is kind of like a surprise here uh, with the $10 puts as the highest put open interest. So those two things uh, just looks like that the market, you know, wants to kind of um, have a little fence around those two prices. But the skew was down a little bit in the wheat and it was down to 9.6%. 9, 9 and the reason I bring this up is you compare that to the corn, the corn was at 4.5% with the soybeans at 2.4%. Uh, really things uh, that just gives you an idea of how these markets and the prices of these options. The C valve for wheat today is at 49.5% which is modestly lower and clearly below that 50% mark, but still relatively high. All grains really dropped from the release of the USDA report, but then came roaring back. So that says a lot, very strong really to end this week.